This is the Blackboard Collaborate window. On the left, we have three panes, the audio and video pane, the participants pane, and then the chat pane. On the right-hand side is a whiteboard space where your professor may do some writing, they may show some PowerPoint slides, they may show you uh, software that's running on their own machine. For now, let's focus on and quickly run down the tools that are available to you in the left-hand side. Uh, First is the audio video panel, and audio and video are something that you're going to want to, particularly audio, you're going to want to make sure it's set up properly so that you can not only hear your professor uh, when they're talking, but also so that you can speak up uh, when you have a question. To make sure that your audio is set up, you can click this little microphone with the gear icon. Make sure that your appropriate input device is selected and output device. So we start out with the speakers. Uh, if you're just using um, the speakers that are built into your computer, then uh, you would just have the one option. I have a uh, USB headset plugged in, and so that's the option that I want to choose. And we do recommend uh, using headsets uh, with a microphone for Blackboard Collaborate sessions. You just get a much better quality sound if you're speaking. If you plan to be sitting in on sessions but not really speaking too much, you can probably get away with just using the speakers that are built into your uh, computer, provided you're using a, uh, a machine like a laptop that has speakers built in. So I select the device that I want to use, click OK, and now I do this little hit play and listen to the, the sound. If I need it to be louder, I can make it louder or softer. So I say that's a good letter level, hit stop, and then it says, is, were you able to set the volume? Yes. Now I want to do the microphone. Same deal as with the speakers. Uh, I'm using a headset with a microphone on it, so I'm going to make sure that this Logitech USB headset is selected. <clears throat> click OK, and now I click record, and then I speak a little bit, and I can kind of check the levels here. And you see you want it to stay in the green. You don't want it to be uh, way in the red um, or the yellow. Uh, so now I hit play to play back. That level sounds good. Stop. And now, are you all set? Yes, if I say no, then it just bumps me back to the first step. I'm all set. So now I should be good for being able to speak and listen inside the class. Uh, here is the webcam video space. And if your professor is running a webcam, uh, you would look into that space and see their face as they walk you through the lecture. Uh, you can also turn on, or other students in the class can turn on uh, uh, webcam, you have the option to preview the video before transmitting. Uh, and you click this, and it'll, if you have a webcam hooked up, it'll activate your webcam. The way that the webcams work is there's one image that's large, that's the person who's speaking at the time, uh, and then there will be uh, up to six uh, uh, little boxes of previews of the folks who have, whose cameras are on but are not speaking or who have recently spoken uh, beneath the main picture of the person who's talking. You can adjust the uh, audio volume with this slider here. See there's a little speaker icon. If it's too quiet, if somebody's speaking and they're using the microphone that's built into their laptop and they're kind of sitting back, um, you may not be able to hear them as well. Uh, in that case you might want to bump this audio slider up. And then if somebody comes on and their microphone is cranked really high and it's blowing your eardrums out, you may want to turn this down. But this slider here adjusts the speaker volume. Similarly, this v slider here adjusts the microphone volume. Uh, so if you had set up your, um, your microphone and you thought the levels were good, but now people are complaining that you're too quiet, you can slide up this uh, microphone volume here to make yourself a little louder. To actually activate the speaking, click the talk button. You notice the icon changes and as I talk um, the little slider here bumps up and down indicating that sound is going out to the room. Similarly when sound is coming in I'll see a dark bar sliding up and down on the speaker line here. So I know that there's audio coming to my, sh my machine and if I'm not hearing anything then I have a problem and I want to pop up to uh, the audio setup wizard to check and make sure that the right device is selected and so on. Uh, beneath the audio video 
pain is the participant's pain. Um, there are a few things that you as a student user can do in here. Uh, you can express uh, an icon in icon to your professor whether you're happy, think something's funny, want to applaud, and so on. Um, clicking into one of these pops that message underneath your name in the uh, participant roster and you see it goes away after a moment or two. You can indicate that you are away uh, if you have to get up to um, take care of some business away from the computer uh, and then when you return click the away button again and that returns takes away the away message. You can raise your hand that sends a little chime over onto your professor's machine to let them know that you have a question and you see also there's a number here so if a couple of people raise their hand in succession um, they'll be numbered in the order of first second third person to raise their hand so that the professor can get back to you in the order that you raised your hand uh, and then lastly you have some quick options for yes no or no response if your professor says for example can everyone hear me if you can hear me select yes in the participant space that would be this, and you see a, a green check shows up next to my name. Uh, or if you can't hear, you may say no here X, and the professor can get a, a quick poll of who has responded what um, to have a sense of how the room's functioning. Last is the chat space. Uh, depending on whether chat's enabled, you have the ability to send a text message out to the whole room, and everybody in the class will see my hello message. John freshman one said hello. Um, you can also push through one of many icons listening to music um, using the uh, em emoticon button here. Those are the basics of using Blackboard Collaborate as a student. Uh, if you have any questions, please don't hesitate to contact the Instructional Design Studio or leave a comment on this post. Thank you.